طاهرا طيبا مباركا فيه الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يضل فلن تجد له مليا مرشد وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا وحبيبنا ومولانا وقائدنا ومعلمنا وعظيمنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أرسله الله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا بين يدي الساعة من يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز ورشد ومن يعص الله ورسوله فلا يضر إلا نفسه ولا يضر الله شيئا Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we praise him and seek his help and in him subhanahu wa ta'ala we seek refuge from every evil in ourselves I give witness that Allah is the one the only one the eternal the absolute and I give witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and a prophet whom he sent to the truth as a giver of good tidings and a warner before the coming of the hour. Whosoever obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will be rightly guided. And whosoever disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will bring harm to himself, no harm to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ayyuh al-ikhwat al-mu'minun, يقول الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه العزيز لقد كان في قصصهم عبرة لأولي الألباب ما كان حديثا يفترى ولكن تصديق الذي بين يديه وتفصيل كل شيء وهدى ورحمة لقوم يؤمنون الله سبحانه وتعالى in the glorious Quran tells us indeed in their stories that is the stories of the apostles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or their wicked people. Indeed, in their stories are instructions for men endued with understanding. It is not tales invented, but rather it is a confirmation to what has come before it. And indeed, a detailed exposition of all the affairs and the indeed a guidance and a mercy for those who believe. In another place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, إِنَّ هَذَا لَهُوَ الْقَصَصُ الْحَقِّ وَمَا مِنْ إِلَهٍ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ Indeed, this is a true account that is of all the stories of those before us. And there is no God but God. And He is the one, the omnipotent, the exalted in might, the wise. In another place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, نَحْنُ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ أَيَّا مُحَمَّدٍ أَحْسَنَ الْقَصَصِ بِمَا أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ وَإِنْ كُنْتَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ لَمِنَ الْغَافِلِينَ And indeed, O oh, you Muhammad, we narrated unto you the best of the stories. Best of the stories we narrated unto you. Stories of those of the past, before which you know you were among those who knew it not. Ayya al-ikhwat al-mu'minun wa min tilka al-qasas al-lati haka lana al-Qur'an an al-rusul al-ladhina عانوا على يد قوم أقوامهم وكان في قصصهم عبرة لأولي الألباب Of these stories that the Quran cited on us are the stories of the prophets, the apostles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who suffered at the hands of their people and in their stories indeed a lessons and a wisdom for those who are endued with understanding أيها الأخوة المؤمنون لقد قاد الغرور أصحابه للتصدي للمصلحين. Always been the case. And if we ever know and understand and contemplate as people and the rulers about the stories that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought forth in the glorious Quran, this world will be a different world. Because in this is the stories of the prophets and their people. His, their struggle amongst their people to reform 
and to guide them to the straight path. And these are great lessons for everyone, peoples and the rulers. Always the arrogance led its people to stand in front of those who are coming to reform, to straight the people's life according to the laws of the Creator Himself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the people that they came and they challenged Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in fact, and they said to the first of the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam, Sayyidina Nuh, لَإِلَّمْ تَنْتَهِيَا نُوحُ لَتَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْمَرْجُومِينَ So they threatened Noah, who came with them with the truth, to guide them to the best. And he told them, either you desist or not, O Noah, or you shall be stoned to death. And the stoning to death was not only to prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Nuh, but was to mean to two main other prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam and Sayyidina Shu'ayb. وفي كل في كل تلك الحالات لم يؤثر هذا التهديد في بعثة كل من هؤلاء الأنبياء بل على العكس لقد انعكس التهديد على أصحاب and in all these events or the incidents of the threats of stoning or taking revenge of their prophets that they came to straighten them out all these threats never deterred the apostles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from their mission. In fact, their threat recoiled on those who threatened them in the first place. As those who came to the people, to Sayyidina Lut alayhi salam and his followers, and he told them, threatening them, أخرجوا آل لوط من قريتكم إنهم قوم يتطهرون. Drive these people out of your city because they are people who are clean and pure. That is, we are filthy and impure, and they have no place amongst us. So instead of being ashamed of their conduct of shame, they rather chose with their sarcasm. To attack the people of virtues, values, health, will, purity, and insanity. Others, other people that they came to their prophets, to their prophets, and they were wondering, boasting about their power. Who is there superior than us in power? And the people of Ad, the people of Ad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them a great material civilization. But instead of being humble and having a gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they challenged the Creator and His apostles. And they said, Who is there more superior than us? And there are others who came and tatawalu ala that ilahi. And the others that they came and they challenged the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Himself. And they said, Ya ayuhal mala'u ma alimtu lakum min ilahin ghayri. Oh, you people, I know, I know other God for you, but myself, Pharaoh came in the land and they spread mischief everywhere. And they sub broken up its people into groups and the sects. And some of them are humiliated and enslaved, killing their males and keeping alive their females for their entertainment. When we ponder about these people and the other the stories that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us in the glorious Quran, and we think now, we said, what happened to these people? What was the end of those people who are ruling their life with tyranny and the terrorism and the injustice. What happened to them? Find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the glorious Quran about their end. And as for the generation of Noah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wiped them out, all of them, but the flood for their injustice 
for their sins. And as for the people of Lot who defied the apostle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the laws came at his hand, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed them in a shower of brimstone. And as for the people of Ad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uprooted them off the surface of the earth with a devastating hurricane. And as for the ungodly Egyptians of Pharaoh, they were all been thrown into the sea. وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيَظْلِمَهُمْ وَلَكِنْ كَانُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ يَظْلِمُونَ As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about all these stories, at the end of it it said, and indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not commit any zulm, transgression against this people, but they were transgressed their own selves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, أيها الإخوة المؤمنون كثيرا ما حدثنا القرآن الكريم عن هذه السنن الكونية how much, much the Qur'an cited on us this universal practice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The, the, the manner in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala conduct his affairs in this world and his manner and his practice never change. لا يتغير ولا يتخلف ولكنه يتنزل بقدر وحكمة من الله تبارك وتعالى. This practice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the universe never change, never deviate, but comes down with a great wisdom and minute measures. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the glorious Quran, Sunnat Allah fi alladheena khalaw min qabl, wa lan tajida li sunnat Allahi tabdeel. This is the pattern of your Lord. With the people of the who lived in the fourth time, you never find a change to the pattern, the practice of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Ayat ikhwat al mu'minun, but قد يطول الانتظار وييأس المصلحون وفجأة تأتي القارعة. فسيدنا نوح عليه السلام. كان يدعو قومه بحوالي ألف سنة حتى جاء الطوفان. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we may have to wait for long to find the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The solution, the end that come for these people, those, those tyrants who ruled with terrorism and injustice. I mean, we may have to wait a longer time and may those correctioners or the people that coming for reform for the good they may despair at times but all of a sudden the solution and the end comes by him subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sayyidna nuh alayhi salam he remained on his people almost one thousand years calling them trying to reform them until the flood came and ended this story. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the glorious Qur'an, as the Qur'an, the glorious Qur'an, cite on us the stories of these people, how the, some of the apostles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reached the end, and they were totally lost all the hope to correct their people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the end Bring the results. Put an end to this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the glorious word in the Quran, Hatta is a stay as a rusu. Wadhanu annahum kad kudibu. Jaahum nasuruna. Fanujiya man nasha. Wala yuraddu ba'suna anil qawmil mujrimeen. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us this here. That up to the time when, up to the point when the the apostles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lost all the hope that it is straighten out to correct their people. And they were thought that they were being treated as liars. All of a sudden, our help comes. And we saved those whom we will. But our punishment 
will never be turned away from those the unjust people from those Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said al mujrimin the criminals not the sinners had some of the interpretations in the, of the meaning of the Quran but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressed them as criminals criminals for defying the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for rejecting the straight path that came at the hand of their prophets they were criminals for denying the truth for dealing with people in an injustice way and when we look at the recent days and what is happening in the Muslim world today we find out that many young men and young women revolts against the rulers the tyrants who drove them to no end they cornered them they transgressed against them there was no justice for them they terrorized their own people whom they came to save and to give them peace in the first place but they terrorized their own people for their own games their own program their own agenda Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inside those young men give them the tools by which to find a solution and to put an end to these journeys to these kind of corrupt regimes وركزوا الأنظار على سوء الأحوال الاقتصادية وانتشار البطالة والفقر والقهر والظلم ونهب أموال الشعوب. But most of the writers, journalists, they focused their optics that the reason for all these revolts of these people in the Muslim world today. Was the result of the economic situation poverty unemployment terrorism against them looting the wealth of the countries by the rulers but the true reason for that وأعرضوا عن القيم وتعاليم الله تبارك وتعالى وأضاعوا وابتعدوا عن ثوابت الإسلام إرضاء للعالم الغربي الذي خذلهم الآن هيا لأخوة المؤمنون All these writers they focused their optics for the reason of these revolts on this economic situation, poverty and terrorism, looting the countries and ruling their countries with emergency laws and so on and so forth. But the true reason is because these people, these tyrants, they defied, they transgressed the limits of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they betrayed the instructions of Islam, the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They betrayed their values. They betrayed la ilaha illallah. And they offended Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they offended and they wiped out the, the firm elements of our deen for to please their western gods against their own people those gods now who humiliated now and let them suffer in the lurch because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what these people were doing do not ever think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all these years were unaware of what these children are doing to their people some of them they wiped out they cancelled the great Muslim family laws dictated by the 
by the creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself Abahu al-Ura they allowed nudity and they, they eliminated or they, they cancelled the Muslims women's dress and the hijab they brought the enemies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to their countries to roam around plotting all sorts of plots between different sects in the societies they controlled the mosques and they controlled the times of the prayers set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and practiced by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam those people they humiliated the scholars of our deen the scholars in science and they glorified and they honored those who bring the laughs and those of entertainments they defied the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them time give them a respite after a respite hoping they will come back to their senses and they protect their own people rather than western gods indeed these people they ruled their own people the rulers in the muslim world they ruled their, their, their people with transgression with zulm no justice was there والإصلاح وجد الاستقرار والازدهار وحيثما وجد الظلم والفساد وجد التخلف والفساد أيها الإخوة المؤمنون هو wherever you find justice and good reform you find stability and the prosperity but whenever you find transgression zulm and no ad you will find nothing but backwardness and destruction Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the zulm a reason the kharab al-umran wa da'af al-umam wa suqoot al-mujtama'at al-insaniyya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it that way that the zulm Transgression, getting away from the truth, is the reason for the destruction of communities, weakness of, of countries, the communities, and the destruction for the, 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 the civil societies. Look what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran. وَمَا كَانَ رَبُّكَ لِيُهْلِكَ الْقُرَى بِظُلْمٍ وَأَلُهَا مُصْلِحٌ It is not the practice of your Lord to destroy communities unjustly while their people, people's conduct is right. That's not the passion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another tafsir, explanation for this statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, some scholars they said it meant that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not destroy the people because of their zulm that is joining others with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is because of their kuf but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does this does not do that as long as their conduct is good is right their conduct is right and they said now Al-Imam Ibn Taymiyyah, Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah radiyallahu anhu arda, he said, إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُقِيمُ الدَّوْلَةَ الْعَادِلَةَ وَلَوْ كَانَتْ كَافِرَةَ وَيُخْذِلْ الدَّوْلَةَ الظَّالِمَةَ وَلَوْ كَانَتْ مُسْلِمَةَ Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Salmiyyah radiyallahu anhu arda, he said, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala established, set good the country that deals with justice, and the good conduct even if it is a kafir country and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will humiliate and destroy the people who are dealing among themselves with zulm, transgression and the injustice even if they are Muslims 
أيها الأخوة المؤمنون كم عذب في سجون بلاد المسلمين من الدعاة والعلماء لقول كلمة الحق How many scholars been humiliated and suffered and tortured in Muslim jails in our Muslim countries كم من أعراض هتك وعمائم بيضاء ضربت وأرجل تورمت وجلدت وأرواح وأنفس أزهقت How many honors been violated and how many white turbans of scholars have been beaten and how many feet been swollen by whipping and how many people murdered injustly أيها الإخوة المؤمنون Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watchful over everything that happened in this world لا يخفى عليه خافية سبحانه وتعالى There is nothing hidden from him the exalted in might Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he takes care of those tyrants who forgot their main role to rule the people with justice and to make their societies prosper and they advance but humiliating their scientists and their, co their scholars for the sake of others against their own people who were there in the first, in, to help in the first place. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave this final statement to there and they said, indeed, as of those the wrongdoers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the last remnants been cut off. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Allahu ghalibun ala amri. Don't ever think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but He is well aware and in full control of all His affairs in this world of ours. Allahu ghalibun ala amri. Walakin akthar al nasi la ya'lamun. But most of the people know it not. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله وليكم استغفر الحمد لله الواحد الأحد الفرد الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الحمد لله الخالق الباري المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات اللهم انصر الإسلام في مشارق الأرض ومغاربها اللهم انصرهم في مشارق الأرض ومغاربها يا رب العالمين اللهم أنزل لهم جندا من عندك يا أرحم الراحمين واكتب لهم نصرا من فضلك يا رب العالمين اللهم انصر إخوان المجاهدين في الحق على أرض فلسطين اللهم انصرهم في الحق على في أرض أفغانستان وفي الشيشان وفي العراق ولبنان وسوريا واليمن يا رب العالمين اللهم انصر إخواننا في ليبيا يا رب العالمين وانصرهم في كل البلاد الإسلامية وغير الإسلامية يا رب العالمين اللهم انصرهم على أرض الهند يا رب العالمين وانصرهم في, البل... في البنغلاديش يا رب العالمين اللهم انصرهم جميعا يا رب العالمين وقوهم يا رب العالمين اللهم ثبت أقدامهم يا أرحم الراحمين وأكرمهم بالنصر المبين يا رب العالمين اللهم أكرمنا ولا تهنا وأعطنا ولا تحرمنا وارض عنا يا رب العالمين ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا وثبت أقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا اغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما صلى الله عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله صلى الله عليك وعلى آلك وصحبك أجمعين وأقم الصلاة